Sound plays an immense role in our existence and especially in the last days. <coughs> especially Surat Yaseen Allah gives us <coughs> from the heart of Qur'an Surat Yaseen Allah gives to us that buzz but one shout, four times Allah gives reference to shout. Sayyatan wahidatan, it was but one shout. So means this qudra of Allah Divinely speech <coughs> can't be understood has to be meditated upon. <coughs> that which Prophet hears, no one hears because it's not about hearing like everybody sitting in the room was trying to give the understanding, it's about the capacity of the soul. If Sayyidina Jibreel <coughs> tried to hear what Prophet heard would be blown up, annihilated and taken out of existence. That's why Prophet taught on this from Miraj, come with me. Says, I can't Ya Rasulul Kareem, I don't exist at that level. Between your qawb qawsayni o adana there's nothing there. That was for us to understand not to teach Sayyidina Jibreel but that it would be written and documented. So later people who were the people of Marifa would read and understand <coughs> everything based on capacity of energy. When you understood and you truly understood capacity of energy, there's no capacity higher than Muhammadun Rasulullah stops. Did Sayyidina Jibreel hear the same thing? We just said he did stops. Could he hear more than his capacity? Uh, he would have been blown to pieces. Allah described like a mountain, you become non-existent if a frequency hits you that's not your capacity. So not Sayyidina Mikai, not Sayyidina Isra'i, not Sayyidina Israfi, nothing hears from La ilaha illallah and that's why that, ka that kalima is given to us. The kalima is everything. So is this Sayyidina Malik here? No, because La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah So it means nobody hears that capacity except Muhammadun Rasulullah This gives the… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yaqeen of Marifa. Then they understood it. When they understand it, now they're understanding the rank. So then who do they hear? They hear from Muhammadun Rasulullah the one whom takes the qul and speaks to creation. When he speaks to creation it's called from the hadith of Qudsi that he is Rabbaniyoon and he has power of kun fayakun. So the king is Rabbaniyoon. He learned the book, he taught the book and he has power of kun fayakun. So then it gives you the complete structure and begin to understand that we don't have to keep wavering about this one, no one. How about this Prophet? No Prophet. No Prophet from Bani Israel had the capacity to reach that because Allah anciently created from La ilaha illallah 
it only flows to Muhammadun Rasulullah and then Hadith Jabbar where all the Prophet described that I was created before Adam was between clay and water. Means the Risalat of Prophet is ancient from the time that Allah wanted to be known, brought the soul and the Risalat of Sayyidina Muhammad into existence. <coughs> ancient and Qadeem, inshaAllah. <coughs> InshaAllah what we have from our SMC folks online inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Please forgive our flawed adab and ignorance. Uh, during our meditation is it dangerous to visualize a flame burning and consuming us into nothingness? Sometimes my mind wanders in this direction. Should I fight this and try to keep the visual, visualization of only the shaykh? Yeah, try to keep to the shaykh and that a fire around you and you enter into the fire is okay to burn away bad character, badness. <clears throat> but keep your focus on how you've been trained, don't let your mind change and adulterate all the teachings because the nafs always wants to change everything. Remember that we would work somewhere. And it was the most fascinating thing is that you had a computer screen, the shaykh says, here you work at this computer and start doing some work. Five people shared this one computer. Each person who sat at the computer immediately came, changed everything on the screen. Like a cat having to mark his territory, you know very bad nafsani things. Then why you have to mark your territory on, on every single person come, change the screen, change everything that so this like they have been here, I have been here. And same we do with everything else. So the all right, well why don't I change it? Can I add this to it? So this not a computer screen which you add and implement different things to it. So we try our best in our life to keep to what's been given to us. So that if anything starts to go wrong the shaykhs know what you're doing. Oh no I added this wazifa, I added this one, I start reciting that one and just stick, stick to the basic program, stick to how you've been taught, focus on the shaykh, do the awrah that has been given, recite the du'as that have been given and be content with that. If you find yourself walking around in paradise and everything is great and now you have a lot of extra time, email us and then we can add some other awrads to it since you have so much extra time. But first master what's been given to you so that you don't adulterate the whole awrad where you changed everything up and now nobody knows what went wrong and what's happening and why nothing's opening. So it's very important to do all of these. And then the discipline to keep a strong discipline of these manners and these adabs, inshaAllah. There are people on the internet making all sorts of bizarre comments and remember that there may be 10, 20,000 people listening and watching to videos and going around and doing what they want. That the tariqah has to be people who have a sound judgment and sound mind. So people making uh, irregular comments, unnecessary comments, super exaggerated comments and th these things have to do with people having mental difficulty. And those whom they don't have mental difficulty but they're doing that then they have to control themselves. Tariqah is not about showing anything, tariqah is about being a rijal, disciplined and functioning like a disciplined individual. So not typing too much, not being excessive in too many things, not saying ridiculous things. And if you come across people who are, they know that they probably have mental difficulties and we can't control everybody. So that's just a disclaimer for the tariqah, you know, do you have, just, do you have control over these people? I have only control and I'm trying to keep control of myself. We have no control over anyone, nobody even listens to us and if they do alhamdulillah for them. 
So it's about the disciplines of the teaching and everybody is an individual and we hope that they can keep to their discipline, keep the way of uh, politeness, respectful character and respectful interaction and uh, we pray and hope for the best. Those who don't then Allah knows best. <coughs> As Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah Is the reality of teleportation found in Isra wal Miraj? <coughs> yeah, we have a lot of talks on that. Go to the portal talks and everything on the Miraj, on the Asab al Kaf, and the circles of zikr. We have the whole thing on, on the portals. Several videos on portals and the importance of how Prophet <laughs> gave us everything. There's nothing in their sciences and in their teachings and whatever kind of crazy things Dajjal is planning on bringing, Prophet already advised his nation and you'll find it all in Qur'an. Cloning people, putting portals uh, in places, everything, everything that they're doing and trying to introduce onto this earth, it all exists within Qur'an. So they're not fooling anybody from the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad But other nations because of the lack of their knowledge actually feeling quite devastated. You know the, the, the other one is the cousin on this side, the cousin on the other side. They don't believe that there's planets and there's galaxies and universes and they think all of creation is just on this one earth. So for them to open their understanding that the God is the creator of all creation and He has creation on every single planet and every single universe and galaxy, they're in such a darkness that just the mere fact of trying to believe that shatters their faith because their faith doesn't accept it. So how Allah addresses in Surah Fatiha? Rabbil Alameen, this is the beauty of Islam that Allah says, I am the Lord of all creation, never specifying just this creation as if there's no other creation. We said last night Allah gave to us, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, who would ever think the last days once again we enter Jahaliyyah where there's no compassion and no mercy. And Allah gives to us, my religion is only compassion and mercy. He only wants to be known by compassion and mercy and I am Allah the most compassionate, most merciful. Why? Because this was a key for the people of the last days that we don't understand what's going on. Why are these people say that they're the enlightened ones but they're violent, they're angry, they're dark and the other ones say this and the other ones say that. And like Allah gave to us that your deen is complete, don't worry, I am only known by Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and that key opens everything. So operate in life with compassion and mercy so that you'll be entitled to the compassion and mercy of Allah in paradise inshaAllah. <coughs> Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah. Sayyidi, what was the difference between the seven point of the heart and the nine points on the heart? <clears throat> well, the seven layers of the heart and there's nine points on insan. So there are different, different realities. You have to get the book, Lataif Aqal. That's the point, that's the difference. Read the book. Then ask the questions based on the book. So you have to open the heart and these are the lataif of the heart and that's symbolic of the Kaaba and it's symbolic of Allah's house. If anybody wants to know about Allah's house they should have read then levels of the heart because this Allah gave to us to understand the house of Allah And then the nine points on the body, these are energy points of the body and the other communities. They go nine points 
on the endocrine, up and down the spine. Tarikas open the nine point on the upper level. So open up the five that have to do with the power of the soul. And opening the power of the soul to reach a state of perfection inshaAllah. That's when we describe the star, the two triangles. The nation that focuses on opening the two triangles, they ask the other cousins what that star stands for, they didn't know. They said, I don't know but it's something ancient in our teachings <laughs> because its knowledge is with the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad It is from the power of the Muhammadan nation, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Can we play, pray at slaughterhouses as Nahmat to calm down the soul of animals? Hmm. I don't know what you're doing at a slaughterhouse that you have to keep praying uh, there to calm the animals down. <laughs> if you're working at a slaughterhouse and it's a Muslim slaughterhouse, play salawats for the animals. So that they reach their sakina and tranquility and if they do things Islamically the animals shouldn't know they're being harmed. And this is their sacrifice, everything sacrifices for the Creator to serve the creation. This is their sacrifice to achieve their highest station. Just like a tree sacrifices its branches to give you warmth or fragrance. So everything should live a life of sacrifice. So to make that more enjoyable, a strong believer always keeps their environment like their home. Their work they play salawats, At, uh, wherever they go they put their salawats, in their home they put their salawats. So if somebody has a capacity and works in such a place they try to adhere to Islamic law and play salawats so that they feel the tranquility and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah From yesterday's talk you spoke about the Dajjal and how he specializes in deception. I have a tech background, is it a waste to study the technology of Dajjal's deception? You know if you have a tech background then you should be understanding the talks more. So when we try to teach people, not so they run away but so that they understand, right? So. His currency because it's deceit. Our currency is what? From Allah gold and silver. It's written in Qur'an, this has value and jewels. Then when we enter towards the Dajjal time what happens? We used to have gold. Then they said, the gold is too heavy, how about if I give you some paper? I promise I'll give you the gold, take this paper over there you can do transactions easier than carrying you know 10 pounds or 100 pounds of gold. Then when everybody was doing that they said, well why don't I just forget about this gold and I just give you this paper because nations were not able to keep up with the price of gold and they couldn't pay for what they wanted to pay for based on a gold standard they didn't have the gold to back up what they wanted to do. So I said, why don't we take everybody off of gold, give them paper that nobody will even know. So that became the deception. Then the great deception is, well we're going to also take that paper away. So we're just going to put some digits on your bank account and we're going to move digits around, right? So the crypto is the digital currency, is Dajjal's currencies. That's why it's being implemented because it's the ultimate deception. You don't have anything, it's a software telling you, you have this. 
software. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now does that mean don't get involved with it? No because all our guys own it. But to be educated that of course it's the Dajjal time, you don't think he's going to have his own style of wallet? Yes, it's Dajjal time. Now go into Dajjal lands and go into their markets. What's in their markets? Corn syrup. But it is fashioned like this, fashioned like that, coloured like this. And they found it was all just one thing, corn syrup. Means what? Deception. But the, the extent of deception people are not understanding. So now we're entering into a phase where ba major battles are taking place and people are watching AI. Do you think AI was just to make a music video for you? No. The news correspondent, the image that you're seeing, everything that's taking place is created by AI. You don't even know, was that even, did that happen? Did this happen? What's this? So now the magic show really begins where people won't know what, what's going on. Why? Because what does shaitan want? That's what we try to describe to people, what does shaitan want? Deception. How does shaitan rule? Anger. His kingdom is anger. He doesn't want faith in the heart of people, he doesn't want love in the heart of people. His AI is designed to bring hate. As soon as somebody begins to hate, hate anything, they distance from the And if he can do that enough, he can cut them from everything. So then when it becomes too deceiving, you cut yourself from it, close your eyes and begin to keep your meditation. So that anger doesn't enter the heart. And then let Allah begin to open the beatific heavens within the heart of the servant. But if their whole life is just to take from only what their eyes and ears and what they think they're seeing and then they believe in it and then they want to act on it, maybe it was just all AI. So that's, that's the level of you know deception that's coming. So this is something for people to be very worried about. But don't take your information from what your eyes and ears, but take your information from your heart, from your connection and from enlightened souls inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Sayyidi, is the next stage then quantum computers? It's already here quantum computers. So that becomes a, a, a whole level of demons entering into this dimension in which the complete takeover of insan is what they plan. So their AI is to overtake capacities and to, to run what they want to run to enslave humanity in their world. So they introduce their world for people to rely on it and lose their spiritual ability. But at some point of what they call singularity, the devices will overtake insan so that they find that the people are actually a burden to their speed and their capacities and it's meant to enslave them. But they plan and Allah plans, so whatever they plan is not inclusive of Allah so they plan as if this earth is on its own, left to its own and they can do whatever they want. But the wild card for them is that Allah planned everything already. So the people of faith they move to the oceans of faith and the people of no faith they move towards shaitan and that's why we said grey would disappear, it's going to be black and white very soon.
and people should see it now. The grey is quickly disappearing, it becomes black and white. Those whom believe, believe, those whom don't believe, don't believe. And the don't believe become enslaved by these jinn and by their deceit. Those who believe they fight the deception at every level inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Does the reality of the martyrs of the events we are experiencing these last days related to their capacity? Yes, we already talked about that. In the last days the recruiting for the heavens is going to be through the soul. Hundreds of thousands and millions will die but they're not dead. Allah says, don't deem them to be dead, they're very much alive. They've been called into heavenly service. So people have to know that when believing souls their physicality is taken away, they're thousand times more powerful. They will begin to torment anyone who harmed them bi idhnillah with the power of Allah Anyone who came back from the lands of Muslims and they acted inappropriately, they've been tormented by the souls because these are powerful souls, these are believing souls. If you take the limitation of their physicality away, they can torment you, they can rip you to pieces because shaykhs know they've been in seclusions and they understand the unseen world. If Allah gives a, a might to an energy and to a spiritual being and gives the izzah and permission, you can actually enter and go after them, there's nothing stopping them, nothing. They enter home they can just hold your leg and make you catch on fire. So their power is something that can't be understood. People are scared of jinn, they should be scared of believing servants who died in an inappropriate way. And Allah give them a permission, go now and attack them. And that's why I think 38,000 have taken their lives when they came back. It wasn't a deal that they understood and they entered into lands that they don't understand. These are not people whom are dead, these are very much alive. This is the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad So as they physically go and shaitan's plan is, oh take them away, he's actually building the armies of Sayyidina Mahdi in the regions where Sayyidina Mahdi will soon be appearing. And that we described even in the talks of Sayyidina Musa Every every action has to be balanced. When Pharaoh was given knowledge that a boy will come and he will take down your kingdom, Pharaoh said, okay from all their boys kill them and they went. And they slaughtered all the male children on the fear that one would be Sayyidina Musa And Allah made him to raise Sayyidina Musa in his home So whose plan is better? That they think that it didn't work that time, they're going to do it now again because they don't have belief. And so not only he raised Sayyidina Musa but then what happens to those hundreds of thousands of children that were killed because they were thought to have been Sayyidina Musa Because the formula always balance, right? Negative went on to Pharaoh's head and his bloodline, his children because the children inherit from their father. So all the Sayyat went on to Pharaoh and his bloodline. But all the hasanat and goodness and the servants, their, the station of martyrdom, they gave their power to Sayyidina Musa That's why we said Musa has to do with qudra and power. And those pyramids were power stations. When he left he cast them into darkness. So Nabi Musa was powerful, why? Because of the energy of all these souls and their it, they're giving their bayat to him so that when he hit the guard he didn't clobber him, he merely touched him and went flying and died instantly. 
means that these are the oceans of life and the realities of life that can't be understood. That when you come against God's kingdom that there's so many different hikmahs and realities. The bad goes to the bad nations and bad people but the good is never wasted in Allah's way. Why would He waste it? These are now very powerful shaheed sitting there wanting vengeance. So shaitan has a dilemma, he keeps trying to do bad but it seems to be building the armies of Sayyidina Mati Alhamdulillah they plan Allah's plan is always better inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifun wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.